My name is Jack McMahon. I'm one of the many coding specialists for Domino Worldwide. I'm here specifically today to talk to you about Domino's beverage can laser, which I'm excited to do. So before we jump into the actual hardware, I think it's super important that you understand why we developed this technology. Why did we spend all these R&D dollars? Why did we spend all this time? And quite frankly, we need to go back in time about 20 years ago, actually about 25 years ago, when we developed a special laser with a special wavelength specifically for the PET market. And what we did is we developed a wavelength that simply disrupted the surface of the PET bottle, gave it a beautiful contrasting mark. On the benefit side, we gave our customers, our beverage customers, the opportunity to run 24 hours a day with no downtime, with significant OEE increases, significant uptime, and best of all, we reduced their cost dramatically. So now you fast forward. Our customers realized all those benefits that this laser for PET accomplished, they asked us to do the same thing for the aluminum can. Well, of course, we accepted the challenge, but I've got to be candid. It took a lot longer than we anticipated to actually develop a turnkey system. But when you look at all the obstacles that we had to overcome, I think you'll understand why it took so long. And let's talk about a few of those for a second. Think about it. We needed to develop a laser that would be viable, that'd be workable, in the hottest environments on the planet. In addition to that, we need to be able to print on the fastest line speeds on the planet. And all of you in the beverage industry know those fastest or the fast lines are 2,000 cans a minute, 2,500 cans a minute, and that was our objective. We needed to be able to print on the fastest can lines in the world. At the same time, we needed to print a large character that was visible, and at the same time, we could not compromise the integrity of the can. In addition, the system had to be safe. And when you look at the typical laser for printing on aluminum is fiber, and with fiber, it's an eye hazard more than a heat hazard. So it was important for us to develop a solution that was safe. Well, I'm pleased to say that after all these years, we developed a turnkey solution that addresses all those things. So let's jump into it and let's talk about what's involved with this turnkey solution. You've got metal guarding, you've got a controller, you have a chiller, you have a touch panel, and you have a fume extraction system. So let's, let's jump into the details with, with each one of these, and let's start with the guarding. First thing you'll notice, it's metal. It's seven feet long. You may ask, why is it seven feet long? And the reason is entirely for safety. So the guarding is seven feet, so your operators with the longest arms can't stick their arms in the, in the entrance or the exit and be exposed to the energy, period, the end. Safety. When you look inside the guarding, you will see baffles within that guarding. And what's significant about those, that, that baffle system, again, is safety. Any reflections off the can are trapped with those baffles inside the guarding that prevents that laser energy from emitting out either end of, of the guarding. The other thing that's super cool about this guarding is when you look inside, you'll see a hand crank and a digital readout. Why is that important? Well, almost every plant now uses 
prints with or has multiple can sizes that they that they that they um, they fill in their plants, and it's getting to be a real hassle in being able to code on those, with the exception of this system. So with the Domino system, you've got the laser, you got the fork sensor, and you have the DPX fume extraction that are all on the same platform that move up and down in unison when you move the crank. So for a particular can size, you simply dial in the proper digital readout and you'll get a perfect code every time from the first can to the last can. So that's the guarding in itself. Let's segue over to the controller. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna back up a second. We're gonna talk about the laser itself. As you'll see, it's small, it's powerful, it runs at over 2,000 cans per minute, it produces over three millimeter, three millimeter tall characters, and with all that power, it still does not compromise the integrity of the can. With the laser, we're only taking off five to seven microns of material, which is pretty amazing uh, when, you, when, when you look at the whole scenario. The laser itself, from a mean time to failure perspective, you're looking at a laser that has a life expectancy of about 100,000 hours. If you do the math on 100,000 hours, that's a little over 11 years if you were running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, 365 days a year. In effect, you've got a laser that would run over 15 years because nobody runs every minute of the day, as you know. So that's the laser itself. IP65 built for a wet, hot environment. Let's segue over to the controller. The controller, again, it's built for wet, hot environments. You're dealing with an IP65 laser. It's stainless steel. It's the brains of the outfit. All the electronics are protected within this housing. Segwaying over to the touch panel, this is one of the typical methods that our, that our operators, your, your operators would use for creating messages, uh, editing messages, and storing messages, but it's just one of the, the, the many ways that we can do this. We have another option, which is called Quick Design Software, which is a centralized printing program that interfaces with your ERP or your SCADA systems that would allow you to take that information down and automatically change those codes. But from a basic perspective, this is the typical touch panel way of entering your codes. Now segueing over to the chiller. Again, the chiller is a super key feature of this system. It's stainless steel. It's got an IP55 rating, and the whole purpose of this chiller is to keep the entire laser system cool. And what I mean by that is this, laser, this chiller will keep the system cool up to 113 degrees. So let's segue from this over to the fume extraction system. And the fume extraction system is exactly what the name implies. It takes off those minuscule pieces of aluminum dust that we were taking the laser and printing. Those small particulates are stored in the system for easy disposal uh, at the appropriate time. So in essence, what you're looking at is Domino's turnkey can beverage laser solution. So in summary, we know traceability is important to everyone. We know that everyone wants a perfect code on every can. And we believe that the Domino beverage can laser is absolutely the best tool in the toolbox for accomplishing that very thing. Now, when you compound your sustainability needs and your objectives and a lot of companies demands that there's a huge initiative from a sustainability perspective to reduce waste. There's not a better way of reducing waste in a beverage plant 
than with the can laser. So you've got an opportunity for a long-term investment that gives you perfect codes and at the same time meets your sustainability goals. So with that, I want to say thank you for your time. From all of us at Domino, be safe out there in these COVID times, and we look forward to the next session.